No more. It's joining. And boy, it has been a long time since we've looked at seven second riddles. Mostly because I don't know if I've got much more to say about it. But now I do. Because I was scrolling through the other day trying to see what types of things could we chat about. And I saw this, right? Who is poor? We've seen this kind of thing before. I've talked about this before. Seven second riddles always makes these messed up riddles they're like it's like who is the man and there'll be like three people with long hair and you're supposed to make these judgments it's just it's never quite right and i've called them messed up riddles many times before apparently seven second riddles not only doesn't care they also agree because this video is literally called messed up riddles and tests to force your brain to work. And it's like, who is poor? And then they're like, yeah, this one's messed up. They're trying to beat me to the chase. But no, just because you call it messed up doesn't mean I can't also. If these are the messed up ones and I've been calling all of the rest of them messed up, I just want to know what kind of riddles have they put in this video? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> messed up riddles first one who will divorce soon you make the judgment ah <laughs> uh, this is so seven second riddles this is what they're all about we i don't know we've got to look for something who will divorce soon was she paying was i supposed to look into that i'm a little bit confused about what i'm supposed to be paying attention to he's standing up drinking his drink she's not drinking anything he is waving a drink in her face and she's loving it. She clearly thinks it's hilarious. Meanwhile, he looks super angry and she's like, here you go. Uh, are we going for them? The bartender. <laughs> I mean, he just doesn't look happy. He looks like he's like, why is his forehead so red? I'm going see just because he just, he doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a good reason for it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's the phone number. She was giving a phone number. She wasn't paying. Right, that makes sense. Well, messed up seven second riddles. That's so messed up. The weird thing about that is that that is not like, sure, it's a little bit, oh, okay. But it is not as messed up as some of the other seven second riddles that we've seen. But I don't know, maybe it gets worse. What is the situation anyway? She's like giving the number right in front of him. Who will divorce soon? Oh, right, we got another one. Who's gonna divorce soon? Do I have to pay attention to the movement or? Wait, hold on. Is it these guys because they're, he's like hover handing? Like he's like, is there's a gap between them. There's enough space for, what is it? Three Bibles apart? I don't know. <laughs> they will divorce soon because um they're not joint at the hip. That is why they will divorce. She doesn't even want to touch him. <laughs> Hey, look, some couples just aren't that much into PDAs. You know what I mean? Like some couples are like, all right, yeah, sure. Like, fine, whatever. But like, we're out in public. We're with other people. That doesn't mean we're going to get divorced. All right, another one. Who's going to get divorced? A or B? They're taking... Oh, she's getting messages with a love heart. She's getting a little sneaky message here from a from uh, someone else that says hi with a love heart. Ooh, that must mean they're gonna get divorced. <laughs> it could just be a friend. I didn't get it. Comment. Of course, there's a comment. Comments. Everybody, let me know in the comments below. Who do we think is going to get a divorce? <laughs> All right, what's the next messed up question? Oh my gosh, Tom was captured by a serial killer. <laughs> uh, seven seconds, my mans. Tom was captured by a serial killer. I feel like this is one of those adventure ones where you got to like do three different riddles along the way. My goodness. Oh, he, he, he's pretty creepy. He wants to play a game with Tom. Yeah, no, no thanks. You know, I'll happily sit down, I'll play some chess, you know. I've cooked mushroom soup for you. Nah, that's right, not that into mushrooms, so I'll just... Here are three plates. Uh-huh. You have to choose one of them and eat the soup. Oh, gosh. Two of them are poisoned and one of them is safe. Oh, this is a fun game. I'm so glad you abducted me. If you choose the good plate, I'll let you go. What do you mean I'll let you go? The other ones are poisoned. He's gonna die if he doesn't choose the good plate. He's got, there's enough incentive as there is. <laughs> if you eat the poisoned soup, you'll die in agony. Oh my goodness. 
Which plate should Tom choose? All right, what we got? I don't know how you're supposed to go off this one. There's nothing going on in this one. Nothing really going on that one. That one's green. Green's always sketchy, right? I don't know. Well, it's got leaves on it. Why would there be leaves on it? I, is there anything I'm supposed to be going off here? Don't eat any. Well, I, I don't think that's an option. You reckon it might be green? I, I feel like it's probably green, isn't it? Just because like, yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. It's the same soup base. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Such a coffee cat. You're in here with the big brain. I get it. Because first of all, you're thinking, all right, well, obviously, obviously like, you know, they're trying to trick us here. You gotta go for the green one. But why coffee cat comes in with the goods? These have the same soup base, right? This is clearly a different soup. I mean, technically I know that's super dumb because poison, you could just probably add it into anything. It probably won't change the color of it, but uh, this is seven second riddles here. You got to imagine what they're getting at here. I'm going green. I'm eating green. The <laughs> we dead. Goffy cat. We uh we died in agony. We're not supposed to eat it because the color is strange. <laughs> Whoops. Not that one either. The mushrooms seem to have. Oh, come on! The mushrooms seem to have dissolved in the poison. What are you talking about? This is so dumb. The line of thinking here is so dumb. I like our answer better. I think the green answer is better. It's like, no, these are both the same soup, obviously. So go the green one. But there's, nah, mushrooms dissolve, obviously. How are we supposed to know that? We don't work with poison. What kind of poison is this? What about the bowl? Why doesn't it eat through the bowl? I'm sorry. The plate. Aren't mushrooms poisonous anyway? Yeah, well, not all of them, but that's kind of the point here. There's some creepy glowing green mushroom here. The mushrooms themselves could be the poison. I don't know. This, this one's super dumb. This is the good one. Okay. All right, then. This is seven second riddles. They have answers for all things that make no sense. Yeah, it's not a riddle. That's the, the dumbest things. Even their riddles aren't riddles. A lot of the time you get in here and they're like, spot the difference, which isn't a riddle at all. But even their riddles aren't riddles. They're just like, I don't know, this one's funny colored. Clearly you don't need the funny colored one. Who is poor? Ah, oh. <laughs> wait. Hold on, we know this one. We know this one. We, we've actually seen this one before. She's waiting at a bus stop or something and she's got the keys to the car and her jacket's just in the car, right? So it's not like, oh, she's poor because she hasn't got a jacket. It's just in the car. She's got the keys to the car. This person's waiting at the bus stop. She's poor because she gets on a bus. That's, uh, I think that's seven second riddles logic here. It's like they randomly choose a prompt and then <laughs> go, okay, figure out how to make this answer work. Yeah, I think you're right. She has her coat in the car. Right, okay, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You didn't actually answer the question here. She has her coat in the car, sure. Right, okay, we circled her face because she's poor. And then we circled the key because she's got a coat in a car. And everybody knows if you have a coat in your car, you are not poor. Poor could mean a lot of things. It might mean she has little money or she's poor in E vitamin. Yeah, or uh, she's got a poor attitude. All right, who's poor this time? What is this? Mega 60% off? Wait, this is really dumb. This is like super dumb. Do we have here, who's poor, exact same photo, but then this person has like sale tags all over her room. I think this is bait because these are 60% off, but she doesn't even have those things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure, she got this rug 60% off, but she doesn't even have a rug. Uh, same with the lamp or the, I mean, I guess they both have bed sheets, but uh, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for the old trickster, the old trickster answer. I reckon she's poor. She don't even have a rug, despite the fact that she she got them 60% off on a mega sale. It's a bedroom set at Ikea. Wait, Fermion guessed it. In the chat, is the left a picture of Ikea? You actually guessed it. I'm still a little bit confused as to why standing in Ikea makes you poor. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> There you go, friends. Apparently, if you have ever been to Ikea, you are now poor. I'm sorry, I didn't want to have to be the one to tell you this. Everything in the set behind me is from Ikea. That, Ikea. The couch, Ikea. The pillow, cushion, Ikea. Lamp, Ikea. This, uh, the, the, the boxy thing, Ikea. Even the little plant, Ikea. It's all Ikea. I'm as poor as it gets. As poor as it gets. Uh, she's poor because she's still got a, a tag on her dress. She's gonna return it after the wedding. Done. Yep, she's gonna return it. 
Now, I don't know if I'm saying this because I've seen that one already. I can't keep track anymore. Apparently, Seven Second Riddles just has like 50 riddles and they just jumble them up and put a new title on it and then put it out again. That's good. That's smart. I should, I should be doing that. Who is poor? What? I'm confused. Ticket. Halloween. N neither of them? What is this Halloween ticket thing? I don't quite understand. Comments? Yeah, you, you could be right here. You could be right because there's not much to go on. My actual guess is neither. I reckon they are both in a Halloween scenario. She's dressed up as a hot dog, clearly. <laughs> And they're in a Halloween scenario. So she's not she's not begging for money. She's begging for candy. A Halloween costume. What? What on earth? A Halloween costume. Of what? What is she dressed as? The one on the right clearly dresses a hot dog. She's dressed as a hot dog. The one on the left is dressed as literally nothing. She's she's what is she holding a pillow? She's dressed as, as a tired person? I don't get it. Who is poor? <laughs> guy who's vaping or what? The guy who isn't and has holes in his shirt? They're both epically groomed though. So like, you know, that haircut's gotta cost money. Gotta imagine that costs money. Vaping isn't cheap, can't be cheap. If we have to go for anyone, it has to be this guy, right? Because like, I'm saying neither again, but it's gotta be that guy. If it has to be someone. Comments, right. Yeah, that one was too obvious. That was too obvious for them to be like, yeah, him, obviously. The other guy's vaping. That kind of costs money. And then uh, he's got holes in his stuff. I, nah, neither of them. You know how much a, a haircut like that costs? Money. Anyway, what's next? What's the next messed up question? <laughs> Who is in danger? <laughs> ah! My monetization. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's what they're getting at, right? What? We're getting, okay, we're getting at like, who's doing something dangerous in the gym? Oh gosh, she's got scissors and she's about to snip this thing. She's got a little, ow! On her, uh, on her arm there. I did these today. I did these raises, the dumbbell raises on the side. I did them. I did them today. I've got sore shoulders because of those. Are you guys proud of me? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Saying, yes, Joinan, we are proud of you. Clap, clap. It's the only reason I do this. Good job joining. Heart, yep, that's the only reason. It's the only reason I do YouTube is so that I can go to the gym, come back and say, are you guys proud of me? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Get out of here. People with their toxic fan bases of people jumping at the bit to make fun of you. Nah, what you need is this. You need this crowd who's like, yeah, you know what, Joinan? I genuinely am proud. Yes, Joinan, I am proud of you. <laughs> clap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, chat. I appreciate that little uh, confidence booster. Who is in danger? Well, obviously the person who's about to have their ball popped. This is uh, really dumb. This is not a riddle. This is not a riddle. And it's not, it's not that messed up either. Come on, seven second riddles. I know you're capable of questions that are a little bit more messed up than this. Who is in danger? Uh, probably this person who's about to fall into a manhole. You know who else is in danger? The event organizers who put on this, you know, half marathon when there's uncovered manholes. They're about to get slapped with legal. Comments? That's not a comment situation. It's very clearly not. Her foot is about to go into that manhole. Would you rather keep track of your choices? All right, friends, get your pen and papers out. You know the drill. Would you rather? Got my notepad. Here we go. Let's see. Let's get some messed up. Would you rather questions? Be caught cheating or catch your loved one cheating. Oh, geez. All right. I guess I guess that is a little bit of a messed up question. Um, absolutely. 100%. I'd rather catch my loved one cheating. I know that sounds so weird, but that's because I don't want to be someone who cheats. I am more morally okay with, you know what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't want to be the person in the wrong here. <laughs> Who's going with A anyway? Like who would actually go A? It's painful regardless? Yeah, obviously it's painful regardless. Did anyone actually say that would rather A? Oh, grimy mime said A. <laughs> would you rather get 100K cash or get 200K Walmart gift card? <laughs> I don't know whether to take creative liberties with this because we literally do not have Walmart in Australia, which would make me take the 100K cash every time. Uh, I don't know whether to change that into something else, but no, I mean, I'm just going cash because we don't have Walmart. <laughs>
Honestly, though, if it was just like Woolworths, if it was just like groceries and this gift card did not expire, honestly, I'd probably go the 200K. Over the course of your life, you're going to spend that money. A, I don't go to Walmart. Hey, yeah, but if you had a 200K Walmart gift card, you can't tell me you're still not going to Walmart. Walmart would, is now effective immediately your favorite place to go. Okay, just buy a Visa card at Walmart. <laughs> Gibletto, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. You make more if you invest the 100K, yeah, but then you have to in invest it. Um, Hold on. What are the, what's the math here? Like how many, even if you spent a lot on groceries, which you could now afford to do, let's say you were spending like 400 bucks a week on groceries, which is a lot, but let's just say you were. That is 20,000 a year. So you could do that for like 10 years. Uh, so in 10 years, the question is whether you would make 100K back on your 100K cash. I don't know. Whatever. Would you rather get one million followers on Insta or fulfill your friend's dream? Uh, what's the dream? This largely depends on the dream. Some of my friends, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going with their dream. <laughs> I would have to ask them. It's kind of weird. I don't know if my friends have clear cut dreams. Everyone's saying B. What if your friend's dream is like, oh, dude, dude, one day, one day, I want to have three wives. <laughs> it's just, it's the only thing I want in life. <laughs> I don't know why I went there. I don't, I don't know. That's, that's maybe a bad example. I'm just saying like, your friends could have some weird dreams that just, you're just like, I don't know about that. You know what? Just give me the 1 million followers. You know what? Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm going to get Sevi, my editor on the, on the phone. Going to ask him what his dream is. Hello. I'm just on a live stream. I just need to ask you a question publicly for everyone to hear. So I'm about to put you on loudspeaker if that's all good. Okay. Sevi, the editor. What is your dream? <laughs> What is my dream? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's a weird question. I, what, if you had to say, what is, your, I guess, your life dream, what would it be? Uh, I, I actually can't tell you. I really haven't put much thought into it. Well, you, you've, you, you've got to, you've got to come up with something. You've <laughs> I've got to come up with something. <laughs> yep. Just say anything. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. I don't know either. It's a seven second riddles question. We just, it's something, I need to choose between something or fulfilling my friend's dream. And so I, I was like, uh, I don't know what it is. So I need to ask you, what is uh, uh, what is your dream? Dude, if I make it super abstract, it's, well, uh, you, will, you will make it happen. Well, I might make it happen or I might choose the other option, which I guess uh, you will find out what it is later. But now it's, uh, you're on, you're on live stream. You would seem like a bad friend. Yeah, but that's why I'm asking because I want to know if it's if it's uh, if it's a terrible dream or not. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, the dream is to be paid uh, six digits <laughs> by uh, editing Jordan's videos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Um, well, I guess you'll see how I answer that question <laughs> when you edit the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will see you later. All right, well, uh, toodaloo. Toodaloo. Have fun. <laughs> All right, we're going A. <laughs> no, okay, okay, okay. Jokes aside, jokes aside, I would be going. <laughs> if it were right now, I'm going A. If the point is I can fulfill my friend's dream uh, it within the means, <laughs> if I had the means to fulfill my friend's dream, then that would also be very good for me. <laughs> so then I would be going B. Know what I'm saying? Would you rather always look good having your photo taken or never put on extra weight? Are you actually joking? Like, are you actually kidding? Is there anyone who's like, yeah, you know what? I don't care about the weight. I just want to look good in photos. That is so dumb. Never put on extra weight. If we're talking like belly, you know, just like, you know, if I'm trying to put on like, I, I guess you got to take it for what it is. What if you're trying to put on muscle and then you can't put on extra weight? It's kind of annoying. Still, I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of handy. I think it depends on who you are and your metabolism, all that kind of stuff. Maybe you got a super quick metabolism and you're not putting on weight anyway. Then you might as well go uh, always look good in photos, I guess, actually, now that I think about it. But uh, I'm going to be. 
<laughs> If you don't put on weight, chances are you are going to look good in photos anyway. No, but that's what I'm saying. It actually depends on the person uh, because different people have different metabolisms. You may be like really skinny and you actually want to put weight on. Um, then you'd be picking A because why not? It's just a freebie uh, because you don't actually want B. So it just sort of depends on your situation. Would you rather be adopted by rich people or stay with your parents drowning in debt? What on earth? What? Oh, right. It's like a question of like, yeah, I want to live with my... I mean, I don't live with my parents. <laughs> I guess, okay. I'm imagining like as a kid. As a kid, would you rather have been adopted by rich people or stay with your parents drowning in debt? That actually is a messed up question because like... That means your parents are drowning in debt, I guess, because you're there. If you're looking at um, <laughs> the options here, I guess the options are you're adopted by rich people and your parents live the life they would have. Or you're staying with your parents and now they're drowning in debt. So you kind of, I guess you're kind of doing them a favor if you get adopt adopted by the rich people. It's almost like if you choose to stay with your parents, you're the one drowning them in debt, according to this. <laughs> they got take the money go back to be big brain profit. Yeah, it kind of depends of the uh like how does this actually play out? Adopted by rich people. Like can I be officially adopted and then just go and hang out with my parents anyway? Cuz then I'll go away. Eh? Stay with my parents drowning in debt. I'll tell you what, we didn't have much money growing up. But we were really like scraping some barrels, at least at some points in my childhood. I don't know if that makes it debt, but uh, I don't know if it's that different. I think the question is too complicated. I guess what they're trying to say is, would you rather be rich and have lived with different parents or be poor and live with your parents uh, when you were younger? In which case I'll go B. More A? Oh, here we go. We get to find out what this says about us. I have more B. You're afraid of nothing and only live for today. Friends love you for not getting bored with you. What? Friends love you for not getting bored with you. <laughs> That's a weird sentence. More B. Let's let's find out everything about me. I want to know. You can't take responsibility and feel empathy for people. Oh, God. Oh, no, I can. I was going to say, that's a bit rude. You're a good friend and a very reasonable person. Thank you. That's all I strive to be. <laughs> I'll take that. Anyway, come and follow me on uh, Twitch. We do. We film these live. I don't know. Was that was that messed up? There's definitely been more messed up seven second riddles question, uh, videos for sure. Get some of the Lemon Carton merch or the Nug Thug merch if you're all about that Nug Thug life. <laughs> and... Uh, Sub to my main channel. It's linked below. I post bigger, better videos. They're, they're coming, all right? They're slow. They're, yeah, what up? Link below. I'll see you tomorrow.